Welcome to Dads That Cook, I'm Jason Glover. I'm on a quest right now to go out around the country and find dads that know how to cook. They may be plumbers, electricians, physicians. We're gonna highlight the incredible meals that they make, show everything that they do, and get you the recipes so you can make them when you're sitting at home with your family as well. There's no time limits, there's no secret ingredients, and no experts, just good cooking. For our very first episode, we're meeting my old friend and an awesome dad, Ed Hom. Ed! Jason, great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on the show. So Ed, what are you doing here at the field? Well, every Saturday we come out here, my son's got a t-ball game, let him run around a little bit, get experience Woo. playing some baseball. This is our Saturday mornings. So now you, you're working on open heart surgery? No, I work uh, as a physician assistant um, in adult cardiac surgery. Open the chest, replace the valves, do some bypass surgeries, and then we close them up and make sure they do well and send them home. Like when you see like things on TV and they've got the chest just like ripped open, right? And there's a little thing beaten in there. That's like you, right? That's pretty much it. Put a little duct tape on it, yep, a little bit of glue, yep. slap it all back together, boom, you're out. It's just like cooking. <laughs> I love it. I like cooking. I can't wait to see what you're gonna cook for us. The food I hear is delicious. I'm planning on cooking some grilled lamb chops with some chimichurri sauce. My kids love grilled corn and grilled roasted mushrooms. Awesome, I'm excited. This is gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to tasting the meal and checking it out and having some fun. Great. So let's go do it. Dad's that cook! So tell me, how do you make your chimichurri? What do you do? Well, chimichurri is a vinegar-based sauce, just of mostly flat leaf parsley, quarter cup of uh, minced uh, shallots. Minced shallots. Hey, hey, I know something. We got five garlic cloves, salt, red pepper flakes, olive oil, and vinegar. So you're gonna mix that up in that little mixy blendy thing? That's All right. right. I love those little things. Just and it's and easy to clean. Yeah, I think every guy, every dad needs to have something like this because yep. it is super simple. You're gonna love it. All right, great. Well, let's get it ready. So first we'll um, uh, separate the uh, flat leaf parsley from the stems. The easiest way to do that is to just kind of um, do a little bit of shaving. Just rotate the, the bunch. Some of the stems can be uh, left in there. You yeah. smell that. Oh, the parsley smells so good. Smell great. You know, uh, actually, Italians used this um, back in the days to um, freshen their breath. And, yeah. Well, let me have some. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's so much better now. You smell very nice. Mm. All right, so now you just want to just kind of chop it very coarsely because what we're going to do next is put it in our little food processor. Back to the food processor. Right. This thing's awesome. You guys need to get one. What we need next is um, some garlic cloves. The best way to, to peel the garlic is just to slam it down. Slam okay? it. Okay. And then you just peel it off. <laughs> That's right. You peel Take everything off. Take off a little shell. I'm gonna just chop off a little bit of that. The excess stem, on the end, the yeah. little hard pieces. Yep. So how'd you learn about this? Chimichurri. Chimichurri, actually, I learned it on TV. And then I tried it at home and it was really good with steaks. Any kind of red meat is, uh, yeah. really just brings out that flavor. So we got five crushed cloves of garlic. We're just gonna go put right into the, right. the blender. All right, just like that, huh? Watch this. Magic. Yeah. And then if things uh, stick to the side a little bit, what you want to do is spatula and just kind of scrape the sides. Get down there. Yep. Okay, smell that. I know. You can just already smell the freshness. Ooh, right? yeah. Chimichur. Chimichur. And then we want to pulse this down just a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. That looks awesome. We're going to uh, put this into our mixing bowl. So at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of this water into the container here so we can mm. scrape down all the rest of it because we don't want to lose any of this. Don't want to lose it. That's right. We work very hard for it. Don't want to lose it. So that should be good. Mm-hmm. So now, now the rest of the ingredients come in. That looks good. So we're gonna chop up the rest of our um, shallots. Can Use your handy dandy mixer thing in my mind? No, now this is where we gotta get this back to This is where you're gonna get into Manuel yep. here, right? Now, guys, you don't have to worry about being like professional chefs here. We're dads, nope. we cook. So it doesn't matter what your technique is. If you watch those shows and they're all Just cut what you can and how you can. I've already done a little bit of uh, mincing with the shallots. And basically, yeah. what I like to do is just do several layers of, of cuts, mm -hmm. and that just allows me to do... Uh, Make that nice, yeah. even kind of right. dice. And you can get it's it so nice, much easier, beautiful. look at that. And it's all perfect. Yep. And it's all the right size, as long as you make those nice little cuts in the beginning. Yep. But again, don't worry about it. Get in there and just cut stuff up, man. You can always just kind of run it across the board, too. Right, exactly. Right. It's all gonna taste the same. That's right. All we're doing now is just putting everything into a bowl. We've got a quarter cup of minced shallot. Yep. That goes right in. A quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Just like that. Yep. Half a cup of good extra virgin olive oil. And you made that yourself, yeah. right? In the backyard? With my muscles, that's right. Yeah. Hand pressed. I've got a bunch of olive trees in the back. <laughs> Two teaspoons of salt. Okay. A quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Okay. Just a little bit to, to kick it up. And then just get a little, a little whisk. whisk. Mix everything up. 
And then basically it just needs to sit and let the, the flavors mm -hmm. use and meld together. The key thing here is that you gotta taste your food as you go along. We're talking about taste your food. <laughs> you just make it and throw it on something, don't you? Sometimes your family can be the taste test dummies, but... Right. Oh yeah, it's got that kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yep. Wow. Good stuff. Chimichurri! Chimichurri. Chimichurri. All right, so the chimichurri is all done. Now what are we doing? So we got our beautiful lamb chops. The thing we got to do is make them taste, taste a little bit better. Some kosher salt, some pepper, followed by a little bit of fresh chopped rosemary, garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, and uh, olive oil. Let's start with our rosemary. What we're going to do is we're just going to get the rosemary off the stem. Pull it right off. Pull it off this way. Yeah, so you guys that are out there thinking, oh, I don't know what to do. I pick one little leaf off at a time. It comes right off. You just go whoop, just backwards. Yep. Boom, flies right off. It's the big stemmy thing you don't yeah, want. That's right. All that woody stuff you don't want in your yeah. food. Just chop this up. Mm. So again, you can uh, do a rocking motion with your knife. It doesn't have to be too fine. You want it a little bit coarse. Eventually, we want the rosemary to fall off the lamb chops before you grill it. Okay, so that's probably looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so once again, we got some garlic. Yep. So we'll smash the garlic. Smash. Smash it. So this is similar to just doing open heart surgery right here, right? <laughs> it's very similar to yeah, slamming open a piece of garlic. Humans are a little bit different, and you gotta be a little bit more genteel with it. Uh, yeah, probably not <laughs> slam it with a knife like that, no, right? Not so much. Not so much. You know, we can leave these ends on because most of this uh, marinade is gonna fall mm -hmm. off. Okay, so that looks pretty good. A little happy bowl. Yeah, more you happy. got a lot of little happy bones for a dad that <laughs> cooks, huh? <laughs> so now we got uh, one lemon, and I like to roll out the lemon just to kind of liberate the juices inside. Mm -hmm. Just cut this I'm down. I'm alive! <laughs> I'm liberated! That's right. So we have pretty much all our ingredients ready to go. You want to give me a hand? Sure. And why don't you um, salt and pepper these bad boys? All right, okay. do that. Yeah, I like I like kosher salt. Definitely has a little bit more thickness to mm -hmm. it. You go want ahead. the other side too, or what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, let's go ahead with some black pepper first. Oh, we're doing crunch. Yeah. Okay, there we yeah. go. I didn't know if yours was one of those automatic uh, ones. You gotta uh, push the button because you're too lazy. It. Oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> yeah, then we'll turn these over and we'll do the All same right. thing. And if you can help me uh, salt and pepper again. Yep, I sure Great. will. Look at that. Bad boy. Oh, this is good stuff right here, Maynard. And kosher salt, you can go actually go a little bit more liberal uh, than table salt because they're bigger granules of salt, uh, but not as much sodium, if that makes sense. And that's that's the other thing, Ed, is a lot of people in general don't put the basic seasonings on yep. things yep. to get those flavors coming out. And just a little bit of salt and pepper, yep. those are the staples you should be putting in almost everything you cook. You gotta season your food. All, All right. right. So now what? So now, let's get our marinade dish. It's nice to have a little deeper dish that you can put all the lamb chops in here and then you can kind of mix it by hand because okay. the hands are the best tools you got. Absolutely. I'll move this over here. Here, I'll help you out. Thanks. Get these guys nice and situated. Yep. All right, so you want a little bit of oil on this? Yeah, you can go ahead and drizzle uh, pretty liberally. Mm -hmm. It's going to get the marinade into the meat as mm -hmm. well as providing some oil for them to grill. Uh, I think those are nice yeah, and happy right great. there. So now I'm going to squeeze some um, juice of one lemon over it. Just holding the seeds back. Just kind of. Uh, you don't have one of those little juicers, huh? Uh, but he's got good, you know, strainer hands. Yeah, you right. know, his hands are good with straining. This is how I press my olive oil. Right that's here. it, right there. <laughs> Go ahead and jump. add the rosemary. All right. Make this sucker nice and yummy. And then we're going to toss all this. Oh, we're going to toss it, all right. Now I'm just going to throw all the garlic on here. So now what are you going to do, Now it's going to get your hands dirty. <laughs> All let's right. go, let's yeah. go. Get in there and just it, rub it in it around. This little choppy chop. Yeah. Oh, the little choppy chop wants Massaging. to go on the grill. So this can sit for half hour if you're if you're short on time. And the longer it sits in the marinade, obviously, the, the better. Uh, yeah, that's it. And these guys just kind of sit in the fridge for a little while, and then we work on our vegetables. Boom. All right, that's awesome. Yep, this is what we got. Nice. That's going to taste good. My kids love their veggies, believe it or not. The simpler the preparation, the more they like it. We're gonna do some grill roasted mushrooms mm. and also roasted corn. And so for the corn, basically, we try and leave them in the husk. What we can do with that is just wet some paper towel, wrap the entire corn, and then wrap that in the foil. And so the, the paper towel is mainly just to keep it nice and moist yeah. when it's all rolled right. up. And you just wrap them up. These are wet, soaked. Mm -hmm. All right, so the corn's done. Awesome. So we'll set that aside. Ready to roll. And we Mushies. got uh, mushrooms. My kids love mushrooms. Basically, you want to try and get them about the same size. And yeah. some of them are bigger, then you want to just, just cut them in half. Slice them in half. Yeah. And then uh, the bigger ones you can quarter. These are brown mushrooms, uh, cremini mushrooms. Ready to go. Um, just throw them in here. All right. Okay, since we're going to go out to the grill, you wouldn't mind just, again, hit them with the uh, olive oil. There we go. All right. I think that's good. Yep. Salt and pepper. 
Hey, salt and pepper here. Okay. Got rid of everybody from watching the show now. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's give it a little toss. Okay, I'll just it. toss it up a little bit. That's pretty simple, That's you know? It. The whole point is just making it fast and simple, healthy, and yeah. delicious. So now we're outside, we're getting the grill going. He's got his corn, and you got some mushrooms hanging out over there. How are you gonna cook these up? The corn is pretty well insulated with paper towels and aluminum foil, mm -hmm. and then mushrooms are mostly water. So right. they're pretty well insulated as well. So I'm gonna crank these things on high. We wanna get a nice caramelization on the mushrooms. The corn will steam in its environment. Let's slap some of those suckers yeah. on there. Let's open up the grill. Let's slap on some corn. You're gonna corn. stick them with one side. That's a good idea, right? Let's throw this high on here and then eventually we'll have to turn those. Yeah, how often do you think? Uh, probably every five, five minutes or so. Five. Now we've got this nice grill basket for mm. the smaller vegetable items. These are great yeah. for sauteed and uh, grilled squash mm. yeah. and onions and things like that. So I'm gonna set this down on the side. Go ahead and put it on the grill. Just Throw slap those slide. babies right inside yep. there. And that's it. All right. You just let this sit on the grill on high heat. Awesome. All right, so it looks like it's smoking up. So probably should shake up the basket right, a little let's bit. check it out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Listen to that sizzle. Smell it. Oh, yeah. You can smell the caramelization, and mm. you can see that the mushrooms haven't burned because they're mostly right. water. Oh, good yeah. Shit. yeah, look at those flames. Yeah. To roll those corn guys over that's there right. and just give them like a little half turn yep. or something. You know? That's right. And we let it close down, let the heat recirculate, and uh, we'll check back in on another couple minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at these shrooms. I think they're probably ready to come oh, off. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is some pretty serious gloves you got there, Ed. The pit mitt. The pit mitt? Yeah. Wow, look at that. And this one's the crap mitt. So <laughs> the yeah. crap mitt yeah. and the pit mitt. Yeah. Right. This one's for what? Climbing and. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like electrical work? Yeah. And that oh, thing yeah. they say you can grab yeah. something for 450 degrees? Wow, really? Yeah. All right, let me try it out. That's right. Yeah. No problem. Yep. You would think with a, you know, it looks mm -hmm. like something you'd go skiing with or something. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just dump those in there, huh? Yep. All right. That's Ooh, that it. looks good. Let's see how they shrunk down. They got some nice yep. color on them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat one. Yep, I'll try one. Mm, that's good. But those ones pop. Just a little bit of seasoning we did. We didn't that's do a it. lot. Just the salt yep. and the pepper and the olive oil. That's it. All right, the corn should be ready at this point. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just throw this into the area there. Yeah, down there by the lake. Yeah. Look at the corn, Margie. Mm. Look at the corn. All right, so I'm going to throw this back in the uh, warmer. OK. And then we'll come back out and get ready to grill. All right, great, awesome. All right, so I see you got your meat, and you got a little bowl of oil or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and this is just simply a vegetable oil. Oh, okay. What you want to do is just dip it in here with your tongs, and you got to be careful flare-ups, obviously, and then you just want to kind of just go up and down your grates. This a nice uh, shiny surface here, mm -hmm. and what that does is it essentially creates almost like a Teflon coating. So we'll close the grill, we'll set this right over there. Gonna let it heat up a little bit. Yep. All right. So it's looking around 575 now. We'll just start throwing on these um, lamb chops, and every uh, grill has a usually has a hot spot. They do. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait until that goes down my my gullet. I can't wait. This is when you really do want uh, smell vision for your. Uh, <laughs> That's no doubt. That is looking really good. Party on, Wayne. So now when you start seeing a lot of smoke, then you want to check, just check underneath. This is also the time that if you want to get really creative, you can do your grill marks. So just by changing the, the orientation of it. I like getting all pretty with yeah. it right now. You're going to get really fancy. All right, so we can smell that. Mm. It's smelling good. Mm -hmm. So it might be ready for a flip. Let's take a look. All right, we're going to go in for the flip. OK, here we go. Yeah, you can see the juice is flying out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a party in my mouth pretty mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, that's some nice grill in there, buddy. Ed Hom, the grill master over here. All right, okay, so I turned down the heat. The internal temperature of the meat rise a little bit for the, some of the thicker cuts. So are you, how are you going to eat it? Are you going to use it for you? Are you just going to chew on it with your fingers? I'm going to dip it in chimichurri. Chimichurri! Ah. Love the chimichurri! So these are looking almost like they're pretty close to being done now. So you can just tell by the, the, yep. the doneness and, and how much it rebounds on you. And plus, they're going to cook a little bit more with the residual True. heat. All right, so that's it, huh? We got it all off the grill. We're ready to go. Yeah. Let's uh, cover that up and bring it inside and get it on a plate. We're down here sitting at the table now. We got our lamb chops. We've got our corn. We got our yummy mushrooms. And we definitely got our hammy cherry sauce. Look at all that stuff. This is going to be so great. So now we're all going to sit down. We're going to try it out. And I'm going to ask these little monkeys over here if they like his food. That's going to be the test. You guys like your dad's food? You do? Oh, yeah. Are you yeah, serious? Sure <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's dig in. Let's give this thing a shot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
You ready for it? Mmm. Oh, that's good. That was really good. Oh, Ed, I'm moving in. No. <laughs> Your kids are spoiled, man. <laughs> Let me tell you that. The signature sauce is good on that. Oh, that sauce is like, wow, that's, the, that's the kicker, you know? Yeah. How's that food over there, Nolan? Is it good? Yeah. Really? All right, let's check you it out. You gonna eat your dad's food again? No! <laughs> <laughs> Not after this meal, he said. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having fun. us. Some chimichurri! Chimichurri! Everybody say chimichurri! 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 chimichurri. Yeah. chimichurri. Dad, do you like to cook? Do you cook meals for your family? Are you a regular dad like I am and not professionally trained, but you think you've got what it takes to be on my show? Go to dadsthatcook.com, fill out the form, and who knows, you might be the next person on our show.